No more maggots. Ben is gone for good. man killed and ate his friend. When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Yeah, just like you. Just like me. I never thought I'd blame anyone. I've not killed since I quit the army. I swore I'd never kill again. It's not too late to change our minds. We made the right choice, and we made it together. No turning back. Then, so I may have my resurrection, we'll steal human essence. We'll kill people for our own ends. Living, breathing people. We'll be banishers no longer. That settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. Soon I'll reclaim my life. We will pay the highest of prices. We banishers may call it blaming, but our hearts will know we're taking lives. How many? I don't know. Perhaps too many to ask of you. I want us back, Red. I want revenge on what killed me. I want to live. I want it too. With the whole of my heart. No price too high. I will do it. By my oath, I swear it, my love. I'll see you back from the dead.
Let's go back to the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains. That's it. I think I can jump the gap. Your bane rings will help. Can you find the place where the stains align? Right. Never better.
Another road to nowhere. Can we jump this? Spectral stains are out of reach. I've nothing to work with here. So we find another way. There's a big country. When we get back to New Eden Town, you can make a complaint. That jump was quite something. Ghosts are quite something. But I feel clumsy. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. You've mastered everything else. No way through here, neither, far as I can see. Watch out! Spectre position! Like this spectral nest is just waiting for my intervention. I summon you now. That's not the ritual I'd have used. Torito Skull. This isn't over yet. Did we miss a few? Move, Red. Yes, something's here. There are stains. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. I'm sure you can. Just try to be gentle this time.
Here. Us? Hi. Trust me. <sighs> yes! Remind me to close my eyes next time. Up. What happened? Rope trap. Jacob Lind mentioned the hunter's camp. It may be close. Something's there. Something alive. Yes. Who are you, and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name is Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water. And the tide took me. I survived. Up to now, anyway. I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Easy now. Stop your jiggling. Hold still, I said. Did you try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you? In that oh. case, banish her. You may escape the trap yourself. Wait, what? No, no, come on! Our camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. Come back here. Shit! I don't suppose you can help me, can you? That was entertaining. Good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive. No.
take it. This place is empty so long it's rotting. Signs of life ahead. Have another in sight. Run, Red. This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger.
We did good against those bone walkers. You did good. Strange to see the dead from this side. They're both oddly familiar and a thousand times more ghastly. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town. Good day, madam. And a good day to you too, sir. I've not seen your face before. Where did you spring from then? That, madam, is a long story. I'm Red McCraith. I'm the Banisher. Edith Keane. Miss Keane, if you prefer. There, we're no longer strangers. Though the times remain strange indeed. Not bad, eh? Oh, I don't doubt we'll prevail. But right now we're tired and hungry. Are you out here alone? In the New World, I mean. No family back in England? There's no husband, if that's what you're asking. And I don't want one, neither. I have a plot to farm and a brother to feed, and that's enough. I mean, look around you. How could I possibly want more than all of this? Why should I want silk when I have all this shit? You're a man alone in the world. You're not bad looking, but you don't look rich. Know what you should do? Find yourself a rich man and marry him. Ha! What's new? I'm sorry, sir. Too busy to talk. God will bless this place, but he needs us to do the work. You understand? Of course. I must go. Take care, sir. With God's help, we shall all see better days. Good day to you. I'm Red McCraith. The Banisher. How did you get here? With difficulty, I must admit. Aye, only them as can handle a weapon dare brave the woods. The rest of us blockheads are stuck here in camp, waiting to be fed. Daniel Keane, by the by. Any kin to Edith? Aye, we're twins. Not that we're alike. She likes her stories, likes to hear herself talk. She likes a little drama, does Edith. Mind you, lately there's enough of it about. I was wondering, what brought you to the New World? Why leave home for the unknown? Like so many, we came looking for a better life. <laughs> a better life indeed. So, Daniel, what's new? Sorry to turn you away, Mr. McCraith, but I'm behind on my chores. Even the poor farmer must do his bit, eh? Goodbye for now, Daniel. Aye. Try not to die in the meanwhile.
So you want a map? Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps to know which way is Boston? Or do you wish to travel west and claim more land that is not yours? I just want to walk in the woods without getting lost. I will teach you to draw your map. So, mark the camp as your starting point. Trace the path along it. Note each landmark. By journey's end, you have a map. But beware, you must know where is north. The sun rises in the east, journeys south, and sets in the west. See? We ain't seen the sun in a long time, Mistress Jane. Then, my friend, you shall need a compass too. You can pay me for that later, when you're back from your walk in the woods. Who might you be? Credence Scudder, sir. At your service, sir. And who are you, your lordship? I'm the banisher, Red McCraith. And while I welcome your civility, you may call me Red. A banisher? Have you come to save us from the beast? The beast? Uh, maybe. I'm not entirely clear on that whole situation just yet. The beast? The monster in the woods? Everyone knows about the beast. You should talk to Kate. Maybe she doesn't want you to know about the beast. Many fled New Eden because of the curse. Why did you stay? Me? Oh, I don't know. I stayed because Cousin Beloved said so, I suppose. I always do what Beloved says. Things go better for me. He's sweet and lucky to have someone to take care of him. You're a man of loyalty. You must believe in your community very much. Do you mean people? Yeah. I love people. Really love them. Without people, well, I'd be alone. When things are bad, best stick close to them you know, don't you think? How are things going around here, Credence? I uh, wouldn't know much, sir. I just do what I'm told. You should talk to the new smiths. They're in charge around here. A good day to you, Mr. Scudder. God grant you the same, sir. Red McRaith, sir. Your friendly visiting banisher. I met your companion in New Eden Town. Since then, sadly, things have not improved, right? In hard times and harder places, a man needs help. May I interest you in my broad range of useful and reasonably priced commodities? I admit, I didn't expect to find a store out here. Whatever people go, it seems commerce follows. Things are bad, but as long as there's business to be done, all is not lost. You brought all these goods with you. You carry them on your back. With my weak heart? Of course not. I left New Eden with a horse and cart. After we ate the horse, I employed my fellow travellers as porters. You paid people to carry your goods? My fortune is in my wares, and my heart and back lack the strength to carry them. Well, I hope the horse was tasty. Look about you. Folk here come through hell for... this. My provisions make their lives just that little bit less awful. And all at reasonable prices. And on a personal note, I find that even the worst of times are made a little better by a bulging purse. What's the word around here? What's on your mind? Uh, you'll get no gossip from me, sir. At least not for free. Show me your wares. You'll find what you need, I'm sure.
I'll bid you good day. I don't know you. Red McCraith, here by Kate Newsmith's invitation. A pleasure. Ah, he who swung from the tree. News travels fast. Thank you. What's your name? You may call me Jane. You're the first true local I've met. Where are the others? Here there is no local tribe. Huh. Why is that? The Abanaki left these lands many generations ago. They believed the ground cursed, bringing bad luck upon all who walked it. Ah, so you're not from around here either? No. And yet I'm less of a foreigner than any of you. Tell me, how are things going in camp? We left New Eden Town to escape the curse. Now we're trapped here. Kate and Thick Skin work hard, but game is scarce and hope is scarcer. I'll leave you then. Good day. You made it. There's a lock. I'm going to need a key. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye, well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. Newsmith? Anything to thick skin? Aye, we're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thick skin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in, pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Better than killing you for food, I suppose. How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's naught to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. 
Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Some think the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hick. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bar. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meagre skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane, talk to Prudence, check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right, got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the Dark Woods. In your forays into the woods, have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is it me? We both? Can I ask you, what do you know about the nightmare? I have bad dreams, aye. The worst kind. We all do. A nightmare is what we banishers call the creature in the meeting house. It's a breed of ghost. A bad one. Aren't they all? Town was doomed. My sister knew it. After... Well, after your mishap, it was time for us to go. Your bad dreams. Care to share? Might be the hunger. Might be the fear. But we all seem to dream the same dream. A beast. A wolf, but not a wolf. Larger, stranger. It howls and hunts from the shadows. Intriguing indeed. But still, just a dream. Is it? Thick skin apart. Those who leave don't come back. Some blame the beast. We stay close to camp now. Tell me about this beast. Though we've heard it howl, none have seen it. We've heard screaming too, and those who've travelled on have not returned alive. We hope against hope that they've found their way to Boston, as we must, if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. There's really no way out. We can live here, on the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. I must ask you about the camp. Ask? Where's your sister? Out. Making the rounds. Hunting if she finds game. One new smith stays while the other new smith goes. She goes out alone? She's thrice the hunter anyone else is here. We'd only slow her down, she says. Have you been here long? <laughs> Not one of us knows for sure. Time here flies for some. For others it stands still. There's no night, so counting days is difficult. What would Thick Skin say? <sighs> She'd say about a month. She'd be lying. We both counted days, but the numbers didn't tally. I gave up. The nightmare twists the perception of the passage of time. These folk have not escaped the curse. Who about the place needs help, do you think? Something's not right at the forge. You could start there. 
I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. Good day to you, Mr. McRaith, your lordship, sir. Oh, there once more, Pins. A good day to you, Mr. Scudder. God grant you the same, sir. Slept in worse. And it smells better than Jacob Lind's lean to. The worst thing about Jacob Lind was not the smell. There. Yeah. Now we won't freeze. I won't freeze.
Right, let's go make ourselves useful. If the nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. This house here, look how stained it is. I wonder who's home. Oh, they're inside. Anyone home? It's empty. Three oaks, it says. Could be where our householder's gone. If they have, they've forgotten their map. Someone left in a hurry. Off hunting for flavor for the stew, I hope. Who goes into the wilderness to write letters? Our prudent sake lives here. She writes well. She also seems to be out of her mind. Something's pulsing here. Let me try something. Well, that's handy. Imagine, all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we would have saved. Someone scrubbed the walls. Mrs. Hake must have seen the numbers. Aye, oh, didn't much like them. As a cook, this Prudence Hake makes an excellent letter writer. She's resourceful. That's interesting. Let's go find these oak trees and this haunted, well-lettered cook. A secret path into the forest. This explains how she slips past the gates.
Do you hear a French woman? Aye, and she's taking no shine. Well, she is French. Who is there? Come no closer. Easy, madam. I mean you no harm. Come no closer. Who are you? Why do you follow me? Red McCraith. At your service. The banisher who lived. <laughs> For what little good it brought. Are you Prudence Hake? What do you want? She's skittish. Why? What are you doing out here in the woods? I have an engagement with the Queen of Spain. What does it look like I'm doing? You've seen the camp. We are starving. A day without bread is long. And acorns make a good enough flower. I was sorry to hear of your husband's death. My Thomas was a happy man, whatever you may have heard. You've hit a sore spot. Press hard upon it. Who were you talking to just now? What do you mean? Just now. Your voice was raised. You were speaking French. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Don't pretend. I know French when I hear it. I've no idea what you mean. I'm from Kent, by way of Wales. You won't get her to say it, but Prudence Hake is secretly French. May I go now, Scotsman? I'll be plain, Mrs. Hake. I believe you need my help. I did not say I was Prudence Hake. She's stubborn. I like that. I've seen the writing on your walls. You're haunted, are you not? I've had strange visitors, it's true. You, for example. Stay out of my house. I'm going home now. I mean it. Stay out. She denies what's happening to her. We'll need proof. More numbers. They look new. Yet more numbers. Let's follow the trail. Mrs. Hake seemed suspicious to me. She was as suspicious of you as you are of her. What's a French woman doing here in New England in times of war? Hiding the fact that she's French, evidently. What is luck in here? Time to work, Vanisher.
Numbers. We're on the right track. Godless! Faithless! Oh, it doesn't like us snooping. This is a cipher. Has Prudence Hake been sending encrypted messages? She reports the destruction of food rations arriving by sea in New Eden. That explains the burnt docks when we arrived. What now? More stains. Keep digging. These are not threats. See that corpse? I could use a ritual. Present yourself! Visible. What is luck in here? Time to work, Banisher. Messages. Yeah. 
I sense the vivid echo of a ghost's memory. Thomas? You know I'll always love you, right? The closer you get, the more aggressive it becomes. Thomas found her Huguenot seal. I don't think he knew she was a French Protestant. She lied to him. He never knew the real her. Maybe he did, and that's what killed him. We should try to talk to him. They're warnings or cries for help. Think you can take on a ghost? Wait, we wish only to talk. Take your whispers and be gone. No. Never. Reinforcements. <laughs> Challenge. Nice try, Thomas. Pick 
picking up something spectral nearby. Look at you, unloved and godless, silent, worthless, blood-guilty fool, forever never-ending mercy by my loving kindness. No, I cannot. <laughs> I will not! Prudence! Forgive me! Thomas? Thomas! My God, no! What have you done? Stay! Please! Stay! He took his own life. His were no ordinary nightmares. He died a gruesome death. No wonder he's still here. He is here. Leave us be. Red McCraith, sir. I'm trying to help your wife, Prudence. Whisper not to me, you devil. Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. I talk to you. I quite like it. Be gone, devil! You'll not have her! When did the nightmares begin? No beginning, never ending. Let the whispers end forever. Let the whispers end. Let them end. Was there a face behind the voice? Or a dark figure floating over you, perhaps? Draining your life away? No, no, not but what we are. The creatures we all truly are buried in the darkness. Did you take a sleeping draught? A remedy, perhaps? Did Prudence give you something? Give? She gave me everything. I kept it, and I gave it back. Why the coded messages? What were you trying to say? The devil's whispers will come back. Forever she must flee. She must flee! Prudence fears she is exposed. She fears the English. She may flee for that, if nothing else. She must fear the whispers never ending, and she must flee, and you must flee forever. <laughs> Tell her! Too cryptic. Talk to her plainly. No, no, not I. Not like this. Prudence is not who you thought she is, and yet you kept her secret. I know her. I love her. Even after she betrayed the colony, even knowing she lied to you. Perfect love cast death out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. I promised to love her. A promise should be kept. You're killing her, Thomas. No. No, you're wrong! You're leeching the essence from her. She'll go insane, then she'll die. She needs me! She needs me! She needs me! He's lost his mind, and he's taken hers with it. He believes he keeps her safe. So we banish him, then she'll be safe. Whatever we do, Prudence has the right to know what's happening. We should tell her. Stay here. Maybe we can help. What are you doing here? Who exactly were you talking to? Who? Me? Just now, you were talking to someone. Who was it? That's ridiculous. I'm alone here. Don't 
play with me, Banisher. Now tell me the truth. At the Siege of Vienna, we hanged wreckers. Mess with our grub, we'd gut you first. Aye. I found your secret code. You. You left those messages. What do you want? Not I. A ghost. And I'd like to know why. I don't know what trick you're playing here, but I don't like it. I'm leaving. Don't get in my way, Scotsman. Wherever you go, your ghost will follow. Leave me be. She's a bluffer, and she thinks you're bluffing too. We'll have to call her on it. I'm sorry, I must press you further on your husband. Thomas had bad dreams, did he not? I do not wish to talk about it. And I'm very good at not talking about things. I understand he suffered from terrible nightmares. Did you seek help? A physician, perhaps? Of course we did. Nobody helped. Nobody could help. Perhaps you wished for a banisher. Perhaps. But if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. He died a horrible death by all accounts. Forgive me, but that pain, that fear, it must linger. Of course it lingers. I loved him and he died. He's gone and I remain. Clarity can be painful. We resist it. Lay it out plain for her. I can tell you the truth, but can you accept it? You rarely sleep. You wake exhausted. You feel drained, but blame it on the grief of your loss and the fear of your exposure. What do you know of me and my life? I know you're a spy. And I know your husband loved you very much. He found your cipher. His ghost writes upon your walls. There is no ghost here. What are you up to? I'm doing my job. Nothing more. Your husband haunts you. I'm here to help you both. He thought I was a threat to you. He tried to chase me away. He loves you very much. Which is why he won't leave you alone. Is he here? Is, is Thomas here? He is. He wants you away from New Eden. Away from danger. I have work here. Important work. Your king doesn't give two shites for New Eden. The war is elsewhere and will go on with or without you. Prudence, Thomas, it's time. Thomas wishes you to live true. Far from New Eden, far from the English. After he died, he stuck around, trying to get you to change your ways. But you did not listen. I did what I had to do. They may call it treason. I call it loyalty. Then I hope you understand what I must now do. Nous jouons tous un rôle, mais le tien, Panisseur, est de loin le plus peur. 